Hello and welcome to all you Virgos out there. Hello, welcome to your horoscope with me, Ville, for your horoscope for the month of July 2013. Um, it's a month where, again, a lot is happening and um, the highlights, I think, are the most important thing is the combination of Lilith and Jupiter uh, going together in Cancer, in the sign of Cancer. Actually, there's a lot of activity in Cancer going on at the moment. I mean, during uh, July of 2013. There is Mars in there as well. There is Mercury, your ruler, going retrograde in that uh, particular area. And there is even a new moon in Cancer on the 8th. So there's a lot of focus on that 11th house because for you, Cancer is the 11th house. And Jupiter has just gone in there at the beginning uh, of July. Now, I have made a separate video and I'll put a link uh, here beneath with um, explanation of Lilith because so many people have asked me, what about Lilith in uh, Cancer? Yes, we have Jupiter in Cancer, which is all wow and fantastic, but what about Lilith? So if you're interested in that, check out the video below. Now, here I talk about what it means in particularly for you when you are Virgo, Virgo rising or Virgo uh, uh, sun or moon. Uh, or stellium. Now, this Lilith energy, to say very briefly, is all about self-interest and about independence and about fighting for something and about um, being not mainstream in that particular area where Lilith is going to have its transit. So for you, it's such a focus this month and actually uh, up a whole year. Um, with Jupiter there a whole year, with Lilith there up until I think around February of 2014. There's a huge beam on that 11th house. Now 11th house can mean different stuff. I think for some people it can mean friends. So, and it, it can mean uh, people who have the same ideas, who are like-minded. Now with Jupiter there, Jupiter is all about expansion and in Cancer, as I explained in that separate video, it's absolutely in its exaltation there because Cancer also wants to support and also want to support in order for us to grow. That's why Jupiter likes it in there. It's a water sign, water spreads everywhere and um, that's why it can be a teacher, it can give meaning and it can be very even spiritual if you like. Now, um, being in the 11th house, it means that you can expand your uh, environment of uh, friends and your environment of aspirations, your environment of people who are like-minded. But with the Lilithair, at the same time, it also means that you will have uh, an, a sort of, a, I'm not going to say isolated position, but uh, um, someone who's a loner, someone who uh, will have to fight for it, it, its aspirations and will have to... So that's a bit of a paradox. I talked about the paradox in that other video of that very positive Jupiter in uh, Cancer and on the other hand, so very giving and uh, very supporting, but on the other hand, Lilith, who wants to um, stand up for itself. So in some kind of way, you will have to stand up for yourself as well. And probably in that area that has to do with other people and groups and friends. So it is possible for some Virgos that you will have to, um, that you sometimes feel as a, um, you know, as not mainstream or maybe your aspirations are not so mainstream and your friends say, hey, what the hell are you going to do? So that is the feeling of Lilith, but anyway, if it's there together with Jupiter, um, it, it uh, expands it and it's a positive energy that Jupiter in Cancer, so it means that you have to go through that anyway. You have to, um, to fight for your own aspirations because Lilith is an energy about fight and battling. And um, uh, I know she hasn't got a really good reputation, but that is the core. 
it's about her self-interest and it's about you really having to stand up for your own uh, aspirations, stand up maybe in front of groups um, and, and the, the, the audience or the groups will have totally different ideas. Um, maybe it has to do with your work and you want to do something completely different and that has a bit of a challenge. Um, next month in, in August it's going to oppose Pluto so it makes it um, so now it's almost in a, in a perfect con, um, opposition with Pluto so it's going to challenge you to stand up for the things that you need to stand up for and uh, Pluto in the fifth is all about your self-expression so whether it is your own project that you want to do whether it is about your children you really have to to, to set your boundaries with your children or your children are transforming in some kind of a way. And um, so these are all the, the different kind of areas. And there's a lot of thinking around those things, especially when you have a Virgo rising. And this happens in your 11th house. Mercury is going um, back, backwards and forwards in that house. So it means that you are really trying to structure it and really trying to understand what is going on and where does it come from. It comes from the roots because cancer is about family and it's, it's about your roots. So the things that you want in your life um, for the Virgos are very much connected with roots and with, um, and with uh, emotional uh, stimulations actually. Uh, which may sound for some Virgos a bit ooh, emotions, I'm not really fond of that, but um, this is what drives them. Uh, because the 11th house is the house of aspirations and what drives us and how will we make long-term goals. So that is a very important focus um, for the Virgos. It's the 11th house, it's a good house, it's a, it's a joyful house, so take advantage of um, really taking time uh, to set up your good intentions and your good aspirations for the upcoming year because that is a very new cycle when it comes to your your ideas um, your aspirations your goals on a long term it can mean that you will shift them in a way it can also mean that you will gain from it as well with that Jupiter that is very positive uh, with that Jupiter there and you find a lot of meaning uh, in it as well so, thank you for watching, you Virgos. Make the best of that Jupiter and Lilith in your 11th house. Uh, if you want to see the video, check it out about Jupiter and Lilith in particular. Uh, if you want a consultation, check it out as well. I'll put a link. And if you want classes, um, i put a link as well of international um, classes that I'm giving uh, via the computer. So, if you are interested, please do check that out as well. Wish you all the best. Bye-bye.